I figured it'd be a good time to make a new video on how to configure Lunar. Um, a lot of stuff has changed, uh, and there's some new stuff. So I'll start out with the UI, and then I'll go over the config. Basically, all you need is on the UI. I'll just start out and show you how my current config is working and my settings and i recommend using 100 percent on your targeting and your scope just so that it makes it more consistent you have sensitivity and if i lower that it's gonna be slower right obviously and raise it it's like really snappy see that's way too high so i normally keep mine at 0.3 but that's just me so if you have a different in-game sensitivity than i do yours will be different uh, and then fov you can kind of see the circle i have it at like 20 percent visibility but this is just the the size of the screen capture so this is what the ai sees so this is letting it see more uh, the smaller it is the more performance you get but if it's too small like this it has no idea what it's looking at right it doesn't know there's a player there because all it sees is that little black like all it sees is black right now or that brown color that's all it sees it has no idea it's a player so i keep mine at 300 and then the confidence a lot of people get confused but it's pretty simple it's how confident the AI needs to be before it thinks that object is a player or whatever you're trying to detect. So if I had this at the minimum, it'll probably lock on to a tree or something. See, a gun. Because it's very, those, those are very low percentages. Like it, it only has to be 1% confident right now that that object is a player so that you really don't want to do that um and then if i have it all the way up it still locks on because this model is really good like it's a really good model but it's some models aren't that good and it that's too confident like that's too much so you normally keep it between 45 and 70 i keep mine at 70 but this model is pretty good um and then your aim height so 100 is the very top see that's the very top which would be shooting over that thing and then zero is the very bottom so i keep mine around 70 to 70 to 80 And then this is a custom resolution. If this number up here matches what you expect your resolution to be, then you don't have to change this. This is only if you're using like stretched res or something and you need to manually change it. Um, and then if you change that, you'll just click apply, save settings, and then restart Lunar. Uh, and then show FOV, that's just showing the circle. Screen capture shows uh, the detections and your FPS and then show detections draws boxes around the objects it's cool for debugging um, it looks cool and it's in my opinion but it's just it takes up some performance and yeah I only use it for debugging uh, custom resolution only use that if you're using this and then trigger bot will shoot when you're holding the keybind and looking at a player, which is nice, but you know, if you're in a game and you want to zoom in on something or, you know, a player, you want to get ready to shoot, like you're trying to be stealthy or you're camping and you don't actually want to shoot, then that's not a good option. And then, um, refresh style is this custom styling so you can change the styling if you didn't know that uh there's there's a uh let me just 
click on this so it'll open the folder so um this is the custom styling i'll go into edit and people post their styling on the server discord server so you can copy their styling or you can go in here and change colors and fonts and whatnot um but it's just a you know just for the ui make make it look cool and then edit config.json that opens this folder so you can get to this easier okay so this is the config.json so fov crosshair detections keybinds with the fov you have the size which is also here shape can be either square or circle um border width that's how thick the lines are um and then color it's rgb so right now it's white opacity is 45 percent um and visible true crosshair i don't have mine showing but it's like a little plus sign in the middle you can have the size thickness color opacity whatnot so and then detections those are the detections right here so show detections so that's the styling for that so you can set uh padding so right now there's no padding so this is the actual like the true size of the detection but you can make it bigger so it doesn't interfere as much with the ai because sometimes those boxes when they get small the ai sees that and then it's like oh that's just a square that's not a player anymore so that's another reason i don't like to use show detections but you can change the styling with that um and then keybinds these are a little confusing um but they're very simple so it's it's called a virtual key code let me go to the site so you if you look up virtual key codes on google you'll see this site um so 0x01 is left mouse button 0x02 is right mouse button and so on and so forth so this middle value is what you would actually put in here so the primary right now is right click and the secondary is left click right now it's only using the primary so it will only work if i'm holding right click if i use secondary if i set this use secondary to true it will also aim it'll also work if i'm using left click or whatever you have in here and then toggle um this doesn't work like those i think the only one you can change it to is caps lock um so if you have a keyboard that is hard to access f1 you can set that to caps lock like spelled out like this um uh, yeah that's that's about all you can do with that and then use toggle does nothing currently it's just in here uh, because i forgot to remove it but it might do something in the future so okay so that's all like the these are all like styling for the most part uh this is keybinds and then aim settings also there's a bug going on with show detections another reason why i don't like to use it uh sometimes they freeze um okay so aim settings this is your sensitivity aim height trigger bot and then mouse method you can choose some of the older versions of lunar you can use the dll but i didn't include it in this version but you can use win32 or arduino and then it starts at zero so dll you would put this to zero win32 you'd set it to one arduino you set it to two and then if you're using arduino you would uh, set this to the COM port. Okay, controller, only mess with this if you're using a controller. You can do Xbox or PS4. So if you're using PS4, you just put PS4 in here. And then you'd set this to true. And then this sensitivity is different than the sensitivity here. So if you're using controller and it's too fast or too slow and you're trying to change this and it's not doing anything that's why it's you got to change it here dead zone is how far you need to pull the um left trigger before it detects that you're pulling the trigger um 
model settings so your confidence AI confidence uh, accuracy threshold this is a bit confusing you can Google uh, IOU yeah it's IOU and then you can do like ultralytics or something and you'll figure out what that means um, but you can just leave it how it is max detections this is how many um detections the ai can have at one time so let's say you have your confidence all the way down right it's probably gonna have like thousands of detections right but if you have this limited to five it'll just force it to only have five and that just prevents lag which you shouldn't have more than that anyways unless your confidence is super low which i don't know why you'd be doing that um show results that's just this uh show screen capture uh use mss um some people uh have to use this because better cam doesn't like to work for them um so if you're getting a better cam error and you can't seem to fix it then you'll have to use this which is slower but at least it works um and then fps limit this is how it's an FPS cap. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, screen settings. This is if you're using a custom resolution, just like here. And then account settings. So in the Discord server, there's an alerts channel. And uh, if you don't want yours to pop up in here, when you launch Lunar, you can just set that to false. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's... That's the config. And I already went over styling. Yeah, that's, that's about it. <laughs> if, you're, if you're trying to change models, I have a video on it, but it's pretty basic stuff. Uh, this is just going over settings. So um, I hope that's, I hope that's everything. Yeah. Thanks for watching.